Hi and welcome back. Today I'm here for the fourth episode of A Girl's Reflections. I've always heard the expression better alone than in bad company. I have to explain to you that when I was a child, the statement based on what I was told meant to me that we had to be careful about the people we knew, the people we trust, and that they should be what older people would call good company. I understood that this was really important. You don't want to be in a relationship with someone who is going to drag you down, who is going to destroy your life or your future, or who is going to lead you into drugs or prostitution. And and I just want to say that actually these last topics were the ones that older people talked about. And certainly when they talked about bad company, these were at the top of the list. So it doesn't mean that the meaning is different today or that I think differently than I did back then. But the other day I started to think and I found now at this age that In this stage of my life, I just found another meaning. So the episode of today is connected to the previous episodes because I came to this conclusion when I realized that some people around me, even if I rarely saw them, didn't make me feel good. So why not cut ties once and for all? I started to realize that some friendships weren't going to work out. I remember that I had good times with these people and I hope that while I was part of their lives, I made them happy and my friendship was important to them. But I believe that there will always be people who come and go from our lives. Some appear at a specific time because we needed their influence at the specific time, but That doesn't mean that all friendships or relationships have to last forever. Some stay, others don't. And even if you really like someone, you can still let them go. And I think the important thing is that even if you leave someone's life, that person will never have anything bad to say about you or will continue to have a great affection for you even if the relationship you had didn't last forever. And realizing that maybe you are not meant to be together and taking steps to resolve that situation, it's like a huge thing. Going back to what I was saying, I met this person. I don't invalidate what I went through with that person, but um, and without wanting to sound arrogant or anything, I I feel that friendship helped me at a certain time, at that stage in my life. And there came a time when I no longer felt good. I wasn't being 100% honest with that person. And there were things about myself that I didn't tell that person for fear that they wouldn't agree or think something negative about my way of being or organizing my life even if that person didn't say anything to me directly over time like when the we end up drifting apart in fact it was something quite natural it happened so natural um and it was something that actually came from both sides um i knew i didn't want a friendship like that i want a true friendship And I know it's hard, but I feel lucky because actually I have I have someone in my life and um and that person like I've known them for ten years and that person is my best friend and we have known each other for over ten years and she's a person with whom I don't need to like wear a mask. You know, she's the person that, like, she knows me 100%, okay? And I'm not afraid to be myself when, you know, when she's around. 
And of course, it's someone who's known me for a long time, who's been with me through all my phases. But even in a new friendship, when the person is true and good, like they allow us to be who we, we are without creating characters or like wearing a mask, you know, just hide behind a mask. And being able to say like the biggest mistake and know that everything is okay is something so special. Like having someone like that in your life is important and I'm very grateful to have someone with whom I feel this way. And of course, this does not mean that a friend cannot warn you or alert you when something is not right. Like when I say mistake, I mean like nonsense, you know, like a like kind of joke or when we are talking about something that seems impossible to happen, but like the other person will not judge you for it. Like the even if your dreams or your goals like feel and like they are so big that they just feel like impossible to reach but that person will still support you and they won't try to bring you down or stop you from chasing your dreams and you are free to express yourself when you are with them and that's so amazing and special now going back to the old expression that i said before in the beginning of this episode it has taken on a new meaning for me and today I think we need to be with people who make us evolve or inspire us to be better not because we feel forced to but because they make us want to be the best version of ourselves of ourselves and it's very different from wearing a mask so that others will accept us it's about wanting to share our achievements and those people feeling happy for us without rivalry. They also have their own achievements. They feel fulfilled and they can celebrate the victories of others. And these people, they are the kind of people with whom we can share lessons we have learned because we know that they will also share something that can help us grow and we don't need people who hold us back because if you are afa afraid to share a project with someone because that person from previous experiences, you know that person will not approve or will say that you are dreaming too much, then that is a warning sign, at least for me. Like Sometimes the people who demotivate you, like, the most are actually the ones we can get rid of because sometimes they're like family members, sometimes they are like our own parents and even if you don't want to listen to them, it's art because they're still important people in your life and you can just get rid of them. Because like, I can't cut my parents out of my life just to avoid hearing demotivating comments, you know? But if I give up and don't follow my path, if I give up on my dreams because of those words, I will become a failure in my perspective. If on the other end, I were to reach the top one day, I could say to them, have you ever thought about what my life ha would have been like if I had listened to you? But that would bring me neither happiness nor fulfillment. And it really isn't impossible because there are so many people that have been through this situation and they managed to achieve success. And if that happened with those people, why can't I achieve it too? Why can't I have that life? Even if it's just 10% of what those people that I'm talking about have achieved, even if just a little bit, why can I have it? Because like nothing is impossible. You know, things are only impossible until someone proves otherwise. And uh, an important thing that I want to say to you and probably or maybe you already heard this somewhere, but I still want to tell you this again. We have to live our life. 
not just exist. Okay? You have the choices or you live or you just exist. You know, and and just watch the days pass by. So like God would not put something in our hearts or minds if it was not meant to be. And if something is not meant to be, like it will protect us or remove it from our lives. We are not here to suffer. We are here to live, to achieve our dreams, to free ourselves from those who try to dominate us and prevent us from moving forward. So it's not worth spending time with people who you know are not good for you because those people who whenever you are around them you feel like your energy is being sucked out don't you have like self-esteem like don't you want to feel motivated and have a a will to live and another thing that i want to warn you is never sit at a table where people are talking badly about others because when you get up you'll be the next topic So focus on people's actions, not their words, because like, and now this is more like about me, but my language of friendship and love is acts of service. I like to help people, like I like to give something, to be there when someone needs it without like needing to say words or big words, you know, just, I just act, I just do what I have to do. In fact, I hate people who only talk, talk, and it's just blah, blah, and actions, zero. So just to conclude, the expression better alone than in bad company means something much deeper to me today than it did when I was a kid, when I was younger, when I first heard of this. And so... Either you have people by your side who lift you up and make you grow or it's better to be alone. And often we really need to be alone and we need to learn to enjoy our own company. And being alone doesn't mean feeling lonely because after all, at the end of the day, you only have, we only have ourselves. And when you can trust anyone else, you need to be able to trust yourself. To follow our dreams, we often have to walk alone. This is, was the message of today that I wanted to share with you. So I hope you feel a little more motivated today. And remember, you are amazing. Love yourself. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed listen to me for a little while and that's it for today see you in the next episode